Welcome to our eSignal Weekly Forex and Future Forecast. My name is Jay Norris. I teach trading at Trading University. As always, we need to remind you trading involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. First market we'll take a look at will be the Australian US dollar. Aus US dollar definitely disappointed anyone looking for a short covering rally here. Market uh, couldn't even get into our band of resistance, our sell zone before turning lower in sympathy with a weaker euro this week. Big picture for the Aussie, what really stands out intermediate term is how shallow this rally was, how shallow this correction was against a backdrop of the last leg down in the bear market. Essentially a, a shallow retracement means a quicker resumption of the bear market. A little bit longer term, pop out to a monthly chart and I'd say the odds are pretty good that you're going to see a test of that longer term support just below the 70 even level. So back to a daily chart, it looks like you're having things aligned here where the short term, intermediate term, and long term are all coming together and they're all pointing for a test of just below 70 even. So that needs to be our focus here. Dollar Swiss. As we've been saying, you know, if, if we like these levels in here on the on the initial correction of this rally, then we love it if you go down there and actually test those lows again, the May lows. They didn't quite get their market turned around. We've been saying all along we like this market long term. Well, in fact, we love this market long term. If you take a look at the monthly, take a look at the historic picture here, look at that trend reversal that you saw it looked like you, you stopped right at a two-third retracement you take that last leg down you stopped right at two-thirds of that right in there that's normal you get beyond that there's a whole lot of room on the upside and we think that is in fact what's going to happen it's really going to be a case of uh, the u.s economy being less slower than the other economies making it essentially the de facto leader in the global economy and that's what's going to propel the, the US dollar higher that and of course higher interest rates this week US interest rates went right back to to the upside there right back to trending higher and we'll show you that chart uh, in a moment but longer term dollar Swiss from an investor standpoint we like we like it on the long side dollar index similar story more of a trading vehicle here go down to a shorter time frame here in the daily chart and you can see in fact you are in a trading range we've been saying all along you have good support down below in that market and and really that's why hey you know if we like the buy signals in here we get then we love them lower and and you know caution you you have to approach this more from an investor standpoint than from a trader standpoint anytime you're in a corrective environment it's very tricky markets will just grind low enough to knock the stops out of there. We define that behavior as risk tolerance threshold theory, where a market will find that spot that forces the majority of participants to capitulate on their positions, essentially get stopped out. And that's what we see here. Every time the market rolls lower, it's going to go just enough to stop traders out, uh, stop even investors out of their positions. As an investor, you have to th see things long term. And you have to make sure that you're not risking so much that you're going to get nervous and get shooken out on one of these corrections lower. But the bottom line here for us is we're maintaining long-term longs in here. And as traders, too, we'll, we'll monitor those dips when they do run the stops on the downside and, uh, and look to, to take positions in line with that, that primary and secondary patterns, which are still bullish. Next market, Euro, U.S. dollar. You know, it's a similar story. You know, the, the, the tricky part about uh, being a trader and an investor at the same time is, is finding that balance. Our short-term benchmark method, it, it did very well on the long side here. We, we were buying dips in the euro the whole way up in this rally. It's actually shifted now to where that 10-day, that 5 and 10-day pattern shifted lower. So that's going to green light us to be selling rallies short term now the tricky part there is balancing that with your investment outlook for our money long term we think you just have to maintain 
uh, short positions as an investment in the euro while from viewing it from a trader's perspective that's that's a completely different animal you definitely have to separate the two even so far as go with two separate accounts where you hold on and you manage your long-term positions in one account and then you have a, a, another account for your short-term trading and it's going to be a lot easier on you to separate the two long term historically take a look at the monthly chart here and as we've said all along you have to maintain long term shorts while well, look at the momentum on the way down there so we've been saying all along that you're going to see par uh, you're going to see that level and, and when you flush that you'll you'll probably it'll probably take it lower from there too so it's often pretty tricky to trade the same market that you invest in two different animals for sure gold market here's one we've been pretty confident all along uh, just to, to keep selling rallies in it um, nothing's perfect right you had that that short covering rally two weeks ago um, but you know what all it proved was in the little all it did was prove an intermediate term opportunity to get short there so this is a market that we're pretty confident that it is going lower when you look at a little bit longer term picture there's your weekly chart you could see nothing but a bearish pattern you have support uh, oh, right around the 1100 level we think it's going to test that and we think when you take that out you're going to have a lot further to go on the downside and that will probably coincide with uh, Aussie breaking down the Aussie dollar breaking down and testing that 70 even level in the Aussie so that'll definitely be something to watch for last market US interest rates critical market there's the 10-year note you see 10-year notes continue their slide as US Treasuries head lower here's the interest rates themselves essentially the inverse of that chart there it is you had a, a short-term correction as interest rates had it back lower last week on concerns that perhaps the, the US economy is not seeing fast enough growth and Chairman Yellen's decision to not raise rates to put off holding rates again the key there being put off raising rates what did the market do this week it raised rates for her so the 10-year 10-year yields in the United States just below two and a half that's not a bad yield when you compare it to what else you can get around the globe right now so that's something that we feel pretty strongly will continue to support the long-term bull in the dollar. Here's a historic look at interest rates. And there you can see the, how long U.S. interest rates have been heading lower and where they're at now. We feel pretty strongly you finally do have a bottom in and they're going to continue to work higher. And again, that's going to support our long-term long dollar thesis, short euro thesis. Hey, thank you so much. My name is Jay Norris. I teach trading at Trading University, and we'll see you next week.